briefly talk about what I did this morning. Two things mainly. One is I read the it's the go-to paper for understanding how ranking works, content ranking. It's uh, published by YouTube, and they basically talk about the two stages um, of ranking and how content is ranked. Uh, one is candidate selection, and then one is the actual ranking. First, they filter down the millions and billions of videos to something like hundreds, and then from there, they filter down those to something like dozens. And it's a really good paper, you should read it. Second thing I did was looked into um, decentralized social media platforms like Noster, Zora, and other decentralized media stuff like Ordinals, uh, which are basically NFTs on Bitcoin network, a little bit of solid stuff, which is non-crypto, but still decentralized kind of data storage. And what I was looking for there is how to basically bring in data feeds from those sources to see which ones are active publishing uh, content and media to those sources and how that can kind of be done yep that's all I, that's all i wanted to say about this morning um, and then by the way i decided that after looking at some youtube analytics and the and that white paper um i'm going to focus more yeah on less talking and more um lo-fi for this channel but uh, I have some plans on how to get that accomplished in an automated way um, on the whiteboard and in my iPad. All right, that's the update for the morning. I wanted to show you guys my grocery list that I made. So I made this in Bolt. Stop. Basically, it, uh, it's just a normal grocery list. You can add stuff, like stuff, or search for stuff, add, add stuff, obviously, and check it off or whatever. But I know it's something special, but yeah, if you want it, let me know. I'll give you the source code for it and you can mess with it in Bolt. I actually, I actually like it better than just notes because it's perfect. It's exactly what I want. So it's the next day and it's morning. Yesterday I was implementing the basically auto editor and I just got done with the adding the lo-fi. So hopefully I'll put all these together and you'll be able to see pretty much a full vlog. There's still some stuff I need to fix, but I'll probably push this out, um, you know, publish this video but just for today and then make a new one for the whole day today. Okay, so 
how I uh, edit these vlogs is I basically just record on this camera, which is a DJI Osmo Pocket 3, if you want to know. And then I upload them into the folder. And the only thing I do is separate them by B-roll and talk. So this is a talking clip where it's just me talking, right? And then the other type is B-roll, which is like the scenic shots and stuff. And then it goes, long story short, it goes through some processing and it makes the video. And the key parts are picking out which parts of the B-roll uh, to use. Um, doing the editing on the voice stuff, like removing silences and adding captions. And then, you know, it puts those together based on the time and concatenates them. Uh, and then it adds music and ducks the music when my voice is talking. So I was pretty much, I'm still getting used to how to, like what footage to get because <laughs> I've just been adding more footage, uh, more B-roll because it, the video wasn't long enough. It was like four minutes and 19 seconds. And now I'm kind of adding more talking video because still it wasn't long enough. But I did want to show you guys what the, what the process looked like. By the way, look at this uh, markdown file. Look at this markdown file somewhere. Because it shows the, the actual flow. Reopened editor with yeah, I should have showed you this before. Okay. okay, so yeah, this is where you put in the talking clips and the B-roll clips. And then each one of these is pretty much a function slash endpoint. And then what I want to do next is make different versions of each of these. Like this one picks out some B-roll clips, but I want it to, it to create two different versions of this thing so that they have like two different styles of B-roll clips. Right now it's just picking pretty much like a uniform sample uh, that each clip is two seconds long and then it puts those together and that's called B-roll. But it doesn't do any video analysis or anything like that, which it could do. But I, just as an example of a variant that I want to create really easily, making those clips longer, like four seconds instead of two second chunks or shorter or using different, you know, more random spots in the video. So that's an example of like how you can break these off, fork these off into two different versions and then kind of check which version is better. And then if you created a website where two different video versions were on it and people could view it, then you could see which version of the editor is actually more performant for whatever uh, thing you're trying to optimize for. And so like I always say in my uh, vlogs and stuff, I want to help people help people. So these vlogs are supposed to be helping you guys learn ultimately how to help other people. And hopefully that is with code, other stuff like if you want to make videos or something. Cause yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I know it's like, it seems like I'm right at the beginning, but yeah, that's the, the kind of test that I want to run on these videos are like, say you have two versions of two videos in like, a habit tracker you okay now i know i'm going on too long say you have two different versions in like a habit tracker two version two different versions of a workout video you test the two different versions maybe one's a lot shorter one's a lot longer but whichever one gets you to work out more that's like the version that we should get signal on so that we can keep the editing process that way regardless of like watch time or likes or anything like that okay yeah so that's <laughs> What I wanted to say in this last, last part, I'm probably good now on time for the video. So I will I will record some more B-roll and there will be some more lo-fi in this. And if you guys want the source code for this, I am going to, I need to try to start uh, getting people into the, the paid membership stuff. So I will probably put this source code in there. So if you want that, become a member for five bucks a month, join it, get access to this. I'll be putting new stuff in there over time, including like two different versions of videos and stuff like that. So if you wanted the unedited version, you could go in there. Um, and yeah, <laughs> so obviously I'm not making any promises about what's gonna be in there cause I gotta figure out a pricing model that's actually gonna work, but I'm gonna, you know, just keep trying and go from there. So, all right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy this short B-roll. And they'll keep they'll keep getting better, hopefully.